Hayward Road and US 15, an intersection that is becoming all too familiar throughout the city. It seems as if every couple of weeks there's a new headline at FrederickNewsPost.com regarding some kind of incident or crash here. And judging by the comments from the online posters, they all want to know not just how things will be resolved, but more importantly, when they'll be resolved. Over the course of the next few minutes, we'll take you through spot improvements that have already been made, plans for the near future, the possibility of adding extra lanes to Mater Avenue, as well as the long-term plans for down the road. That also includes plans for a new interchange at US 15 and Monoxy Boulevard. We caught up with John Concannon of the SHA, as well as Rick Weldon, the city's executive assistant to the mayor, and they're gonna give us all we need to know about the upcoming plans for this tricky intersection, as well as some of the surrounding areas. For folks who right now are using Route 15 as a local road, it's the reason why Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night of every week, from three o'clock until seven or eight o'clock, you're looking at bumper to bumper traffic on Route 15. It's a safety issue. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to go back to the archives of the news post and look at the number of uh, you know, traffic accidents that have occurred of either people turning across the southbound lane of 15 or exiting out of Hayward Road to get across. Some of the safety enhancements that we have implemented over the years there have included uh, upgraded warning signs, we have put in a flashing beacon on southbound US 15. We've also improved the turning radius for trucks and other cars coming out of Hayward Road to turn on to southbound US 15. Some additional rumble strips. There are now a series of uh, various sets of rumble strips out there in combination with some other pavement markings to alert drivers to their speed, encourage them to obey the posted speed limit, which is 55 miles an hour, and watch for other drivers as they come through the intersection. The next phase of safety improvements will involve a relocation of the right turn lane off of US 15 South onto westbound Hayward Road. The project is scheduled to begin this fall and be completed by the winter of 2010. This is the US 15 southbound roadway approaching the Hayward Road intersection. Currently, drivers who want to make a right-hand turn onto Hayward Road get into a deceleration lane and make a right-hand turn immediately at the intersection. Those drivers compete with the northbound drivers on US 15 who want to make a left-hand turn onto Hayward Road, and there's often confusion within the intersection as to who has the right-of-way. What we're going to do is actually relocate that southbound right-hand turn onto this parallel access road to the west of US 15. And what is shown here is this construction uh, labeled as ramp A, where it will take drivers off of US 15, approximately 400 feet north of Hayward Road, allow them to come down and intersect Hayward Road away from the intersection, and then that will address the conflict that happens in the immediate intersection. My guess is that sooner than later, we need to close that uh, interchange. And the plan is, of course, to build Monocacy Boulevard out fully, which would bring it around uh, just north of that Hayward Road interchange with a flyover. So it would be, you know, an, an overpass basically, w would be the way that people transit from the east to the west of the city o over 15, as opposed to a grade crossing at 15. It's something that the city and the state, and to a lesser extent the county, would participate in. So we've agreed to, and the developer would bear the bulk, the developers would bear the bulk of that cost. But to get the engineering done, you know, government has to, public sector has to put some of that money up first because there, there aren't really uh, concrete development plans to move forward. This is the US 15 Monocacy Boulevard inter interchange. And what's being proposed at this location is a grade separated or a bridge over US 15 so that there are no immediate conflicts with traffic traveling north and southbound on US 15. As you travel in the northbound direction, traffic would actually be able to get off at the interchange, cross over the bridge, and get over to Thomas Johnson Drive in this area. You'll notice that the Hayward Road intersection is shown as a cul-de-sac under this plan that will um, eliminate any turning movement conflicts that occur on US 15 at Hayward Road today. In addition, 
will also to be able to close the northbound left turn at Willow Road. And Willow Road on the west side will remain open for traffic coming uh, southbound on US 15 to allow still a right turn into Willow Road as well as a right turn out of Willow Road. A possible less expensive project that could also help ease the congestion at the turnoff from US 15 North onto Hayward Road would involve changes to the Modder Avenue Bridge just south of Hayward Road. As part of the bridge replacement project, one of these lanes that we are creating on this ramp will come around and have its own lane to enter onto Modder Avenue heading out towards FCC and Thomas Johnson Drive. That lane will carry across the bridge and we are working with the City of Frederick to possibly extend this lane all the way out to the intersection at Thomas Johnson Drive where the majority of this traffic that makes this right hand turn is trying to get into the Thomas Johnson Drive area. Our plan would be that if we are not able to get the full construction funding for Monocacy Boulevard and we are able to move forward with the reconstruction of the bridge at Modder, once the bridge at Modder is complete and we have the additional capacity at Modder, we could then close the northbound left turn lane at Hayward Road. We want to thank John Kincannon and Rick Weldon for taking time out of their busy schedules to sit down and talk with us about upcoming plans for the area. And we'll continue to track that progress over the course of the next weeks and months. So keep checking back with us right here at FrederickNewsPost.com for all the latest. For Frederick News Post, I'm DC Rice.